Hey, another Vectors EDU video coming at you. Uh, this is a question we get very frequently at the office. Um, Windows Mobile Device Center is no longer working on my computer, or hey, I just got a new machine and I can't connect my TSC3 data collector in order to download my data or pull it into TBC. Uh, so this actually is not a Trimble issue per se. This is more of a Microsoft Windows issue. Uh, with the addition of Windows 10 uh, out in the marketplace and technologies continuing to advance, Windows Mobile Device Center really isn't supported anymore. Uh, in addition to the fact that on the TSC3, we're running Windows Mobile uh, Operating System, which has since not been supported any longer uh, from Microsoft. So we kind of have to backdoor it. I know there's still a lot of people out there running TSE3s and are either getting new computers or we're adding TBC to a new workstation and you guys need to use that PC for import and export uh, of your data into TBC so you guys can continue to push jobs out. So there is a backdoor uh, to kind of get this fixed. I'm gonna walk you guys through. I'll make sure I put links down in the description uh, for where to get the registry update and or get this Windows Mobile Device Center um, release note that uh, Trimble put out a little while ago. So I'm gonna show you that first. This has been a known issue for some time. Um, this is as of June 2016, this has been a known issue. Uh, Windows Mobile Device Center no longer working on Windows 10 machines. So in short, what this document kind of breaks down, they did come up with a workaround here. Um, we have to do two things. There's a registry update, and we have to change some things with the driver itself for Windows Mobile Device Center. Uh, so the first step or work walkthrough, I guess, I'm going to run you through is if you already have TBC installed on your PC. Uh, if you don't have TBC installed on your PC, I'll go ahead and give a link or I'll tell you guys how to kind of run through that to get the driver itself. But I wanted to show you if you already have Trimble Business Center installed on your computer, you already have the driver for Windows Mobile Device Center. Every time you do a fresh download, you get a copy of Windows Mobile Device Center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our C drive here and there's a folder, this one here, Trimble Downloaded Installations. So uh, I'm on a new PC as an example here. I had to do a fresh clean install of TBC 5.2. Maybe you guys on your current workstation, um, when you guys open this Trimble Downloaded Installations, you may already have one in there for TBC 4.0, TBC 5.0, there might be multiple folders in here. It does not matter which one you open because with every full release of TBC, a copy of Windows Mobile Device Center is kind of embedded in the programming. So if I open mine up, and you can open up any one of your folders there, down at the very bottom, you're going to have a folder WMD61. So this is Windows Mobile Device Center. This is where the driver itself is housed. So your first step, if you cannot get your TSC3 to hook up to your Windows 10 PC, you guys need to go and find this driver. So C drive, Trimble downloaded installations, open up one of your full release um, downloads for TBC. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. You're going to find the WMD61 folder, and inside you're going to find the driver itself. So first thing we need to do, we're going to right click on this, and we're going to go to properties. And under the compatibility tab, I know this is a little strange, we need to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows Vista. After I have compatibility mode checked and Windows Vista chosen, I need to hit apply. At this point, you can simply hit OK. We then need to right click on that driver that we've chosen to run in compatibility mode. We now need to run as administrator. It's going to do a install for Windows Mobile Device Center in compatibility for Windows Vista. Uh, this error message I'm getting here, we can just simply hit OK. We don't need to worry about a mail client. So what it's doing is it's installing a fresh copy of Windows Mobile Device Center on the PC in the background. The second step we have to do 
is a registry update. If I go back to this support note here, so this first part I ran you through is the driver itself. I'll see if I can link this uh, support note in here. If you do not have uh, TBC installed on your computer, you'll have to find that driver itself. I'll try to uh, get that for you guys to make things simple. Uh, my guess is if you're on a Windows 10 PC, you're going to need 64-bit. You guys do not need to worry about the 32-bit version. The other important thing that this document points out is you guys need to be up to date on your Windows updates. The Net Framework 3.5 was a really big one that happened uh, quite a while back. Obviously, this document came out in 2016. Any of your brand new PCs hopefully already have this installed, but you'll want to make sure that you run all of your Windows updates uh, before kind of running through this. The second step here I'm going to run you guys through is the registry update. So on this document, and I'll see if I, I can uh, get it in here for you guys to access, uh, they do create a hyperlink which simply goes straight to the download. Um, once you get the registry update, I've gone ahead and put it on my desktop here. When you open the registry update, this is about as simple as it gets. Trimblink Windows 10, Windows Mobile Device Center, compatibility registry update. Utility must be run as admin, press any key to continue. So of course on this, you're going to have to right click, run as admin, and all you're going to do is press spacebar, A, B, C, D, doesn't matter, that registry update just took effect. And at this point, all you need to do is reboot your computer. Windows Mobile Device Center might be finishing in the background installing, but this is a permanent fix. Uh, I know there were some other workarounds uh, out there on the internet to get TSC3s to connect to Windows 10 devices. Some of those were not permanent fixes. The next time you guys did a Windows update, it just removed your fix and you were back to square one. So what I just ran you through is a permanent fix to get Windows Mobile Device Center to work with your TSC3. So after you do a reboot, uh, Windows Mobile Device Center should be able to launch. Uh, I prefer to open Windows Mobile Device Center before I plug in the TSC3 data collector. I find there's less glitches and the connection works a little bit better. I know a lot of you guys are probably used to just plugging in the data collector and if you wait 10, 15 seconds, then Windows Mobile uh, will open up. On Windows 10, I find it works a little bit better if you just open it beforehand, then plug in your data collector. One other thing worth mentioning here is on your TSC3, uh, there's one checkbox uh, we probably need to check. Some computers, I see this go both ways. Uh, so if you, on your TSC3, hit the Windows button in the upper left-hand corner of your keypad, go to Settings, then go into Connections, scroll down a little bit, you're going to find an option for USB to PC. And there's only one checkbox in there. It's basically every time I plug this in, do I want you to reinstall the driver or not? 90% of the time, I like that box unchecked things connect just fine. It, so my recommendation is to uncheck that box, plug in your data collector, see if it connects up. If for some reason you're still having issues, do the checkbox just for the first time to make that partnership or that connection with that data collector specific to that Windows 10 PC. Um, then after it connects, go ahead and go back into that setting, uncheck that box and confirm it still works. You might need to do one more reboot on the PC, but again, this is a permanent fix uh, for Windows Mobile Device Center to work with Windows 10. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, of course, you guys are always free to call either our Denver office or our Albuquerque office. Uh, our team is here to support you in any way we can. Thanks.